Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The bold and the beautiful recap for Thursday, August 29, 2024, is finally here. Up today's episode, Luminozawa taunts Steffi Forrester Finnegan B and B recap for Thursday, August 29 shows that Lee Finnegan advises Finn, it's a good idea to check up on Luna. Finn knows he should be there for Luna more than he has been. Lee brings up Steffi walking out on Finn. The wonderful doctor clarifies what happened. Steffi is shouting and banging on the cage. Steffi worries why Finn isn't there yet. Rich Forrester is miffed Steffi is MIA. Brooke Logan offers her help. Ridge is anxious about Steffi and wants to be sure she's safe. But Deputy Chief Bradley Baker is confused why Luna is implicating her mother. Luna says she can't handle the load anymore. Luna sobbing says Poppy killed Tom Starr and Paul Hollis Hollister Baker squints. Finn assures Lee he won't cause any more burden to Luna's life. Finn thinks a surprise Luna at the flat. Steffi is still shouting and wailing. Poppy believes she's innocent. Bill just stands there processing. Baker isn't sure Luna realizes the repercussions of what she's saying. Luna does. Luna believes Poppy told her she killed the two males. Ridge tells Brooke that Hope Logan should control herself and keep her lips off of Finn. Brooke promises Ridge that Steffi will be home, shortly Lee tells Finn that Luna moved in with Bill. They debate all the areas where Luna could be right now. Finn thinks he'll text and find out her location. Finn is anxious Steffi hasn't contacted out yet. The bold and the beautiful recap for Thursday, August 29 reveals that Steffi is seeking for a way out of the cage. Steffi is looking for a slot so she can MacGyver her way out of there. Steffi gives up in wrath and frustration. Bill doesn't know what to believe. Bill feels the evidence is highly damning. Poppy maintains she's not capable of murder. Poppy claims she knows about the paternity test redo. Bill confirms he isn't Luna's father. Bill wants to know how the initial test came out positive. Poppy denies any knowledge and honestly thought Bill was her baby daddy. Poppy says even though Luna isn't Bill's, she still loves him very much. Baker tells Luna that she vehemently defended Luna throughout her arrest and claimed she was innocent. Luna was startled out and scared for her mom. Luna feels sick thinking of Poppy going to prison, but she can't hide for her anymore. Luna claims Poppy killed Tom and Hollis to safeguard her life with Bill. Luna is willing to write a statement, but only anonymously. Luna doesn't want to damage her connection with Poppy permanently. Baker says he'll check into it. Baker appears suspicious. Bill flashes back to Luna's kiss. Poppy doesn't know how long she will be in jail. Bill says he will be there for Luna as a father figure. Bill also believes Luna's having problems with this difficult transition. Poppy wants to know if Luna has been acting out. Bill doesn't disclose details but swears not to abandon Luna. Poppy wants Bill to think that she's innocent. Bill goes, but Poppy has another visitor. It's Finn. Poppy is anxious about Luna. Teffy is asleep in the cage. The door is unlocking. Steffi pleads for rescue. But it's only Luna. Luna has a healthy green smoothie drink. Luna doesn't offer Steffi a sip. Steffi wants to know what Luna plans to do with her. Poppy tells Finn her story. Poppy says she's being set up. Finn asks about cameras in the flat or proof. Poppy says there might be hints. Poppy wants Finn to go to her flat and search for evidence. Steffi begs Luna to confess to the police and she'll get mercy. Luna smiles and claims she'll never get caught. Luna tells Steffi about Baker, dragging the truth out of her. It's like Luna is using Steffi as a diary. Luna likes Steffi but she can't meddle with the life she deserves. Steffi asks about Finn and her family. Luna smiles as she says Steffi will never see her family again. Luna goes, leaving Steffi screaming and wailing in the cage. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Friday, August 30, 2024, are in. In tomorrow's episode, 
anticipates Steffi Forrester Finnegan to be famished and feeble. Coming up on the bold and the beautiful, all Steffi will be able to do is hope for John Finn Finnegan to locate her before it's too late. Meanwhile, Finn finds a puzzle piece at Bill Spencer's estate. Could this be Steffi's cell phone, which she left at the Spencer mansion? Plus, Luna Nozawa is getting bolder, which implies she's going to make a mistake. Keep reading to find out what is coming up in the next episode of the CBS soap opera. B&B spoilers for Friday, August 30 indicate that Steffi is still trapped in the cage within Luna and Penelope Poppy Nozawa's apartment. Steffi's dilemma isn't only being locked in the cage, and nobody knows where she is. The stakes are considerably higher for Steffi now that Luna has informed her the building is planned for demolition. Steffi told folks she was leaving town, but didn't say where or for how long. Steffi left Hayes Forrester Finnegan with Finn and said not to call her. Then, Steffi asked Liam Spencer to watch Kelly Spencer, while nobody looks frightened except Finn, it's because his instinct is warning him something is very, very wrong. Luna fears that by the time anyone discovers Steffi is missing, the building will already be dismantled. However, Luna is underestimating the power of true love. Steffi keeps fingering her wedding ring in the cage. Meanwhile, Finn's gut is screaming that something is awry. It's only a matter of time before Finn finds Steffi. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Friday, August 30 hint that Finn will head to Bill's mansion. Finn might talk to Liam again about if he's heard from Steffi. When Liam hasn't, he can mention that he was at Bill's when Steffi brought him the news about Hope Logan Finn might go back to Bill's house only to see if her car is there, or if Bill would have further information. While there, Finn will locate a clue. That clue will presumably be Steffi's cell phone. Fans might remember that Steffi put it on the table at Bill's front door in Friday's episode. Fans can also anticipate Luna to continue thinking she's getting away with many killings. Luna seems to have no shame with framing her own mother, however. However, with Luna being bold enough to offer evidence to Deputy Chief Bradley Baker, I wonder whether she just made a big mistake. The bold and the beautiful spoilers show that John Finn Finnegan is again unhappy with Liam Spencer. Both guys have a woman between them, but her name is not Hope Logan. Finn is anxious about Steffi Forrester Finnegan, but he and Liam don't know that her life is in risk. Luna Nozawa's exposed misdeeds, her matter-of-fact admissions, and Steffi's potentially perilous circumstances would generally suggest Wood's character will join Tom Starr and Paul Hollis Hollister in the afterlife. But Steffi is destined to survive in this soapy environment and maybe face a choice between her current and previous husband. Being confined doesn't provide options. So, for the moment, Luna controls Steffi's existence, and that is scary. The audience witnessed Steffi beseech Luna to free her. But that's not happening since Steffi realized what Luna done. Yamada's character's admittance and explanation of her crimes foreshadow an impending finish to this storyline. This summer thrill ride has been good, with a surprising disclosure of a villain most fans certainly did not suspect. This is an excellent plotline, with good plotting, breadcrumb hints, and a plausible reveal that can conclude in numerous ways. Luna could be arrested and imprisoned, escape or meet her ultimate demise. Luna aims to let the apartment building's demolition do her dirty work, while she puts a lethal medication into the beverages of her father, Tom, and ostensible friend, Hollis. Luna has a different plan for Steffi. Purely as an aside, how did that friendship with Hollis develop? Dialogue about Luna being friends with Hollis shows the suspension of disbelief. That barely referenced element of the plot should have been developed out with a couple instances of Hollis. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed The Bold and the Beautiful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.